Shall we begin? Let's begin the show. revised it. When you read it, it's a complete different movie, but it's it's crazy. And right now, if you look at what's happening on the internet, all of the internet stuff right now is all about uh, it's all about dance. They, YouTube just gave a dance just gave a dance uh, one of my friends, Trisha Hohen, dance channel. Step Up, the franchise has got a new dance TV show coming out. Tony Rich got a new dance show that just came out in August. Mm -hmm. um, John Chu and uh, John Chu and and Chris Scott they they just got a new dance show with Paramount. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing dance shows because the numbers are crazy. Mm -hmm. So you guys going to the party? Is that all night club? What time we start? Start right now. Yeah. yeah, all of that, all of that being done. That's that's what the focus now is to get. Mm -hmm. Sponsors mm -hmm. and take them to, okay. and take the sponsors to the you know, this whole thing of mm -hmm. hey look we're doing this digital we're doing the digital this we're doing the digital that mm -hmm. because that's where the dollars are mm -hmm. it's, it's the you know mm -hmm. digital advertising. Okay, Mr. Sheldon, so you're doing a lot of stuff right here, right? Yes. So you've been for Jackson Pro and then going up editor editing and now movie, movie film director. So. Little, so no, that's, little, that's, little success. So, so, that's, that's so what, what is uh, your purpose? Last goal. Last goal in here. Was what? Last goal. Last purpose. End of your way. So you're doing a lot of stuff. Well, so, so, so my focus, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh -huh. but, but the entrepreneurial spirit in me is more so about doing, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, the entrepreneurial spirit spirit of me is always going to be that, but my focus is film and television. Mm -hmm. film so and I, have, television. I have a bunch of film and television projects, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I'm also an entrepreneur, so I'm also going to take every aspect of, of what I learned in both in college and being in the entertainment business for 20 years, I'm fusing them all together to now make all different projects. I mean, I have television projects, I have film projects, I have dance projects, I have convention projects. You know, so it's a combination of stuff that, that I'm doing. Okay. It's not just one particular so, thing. Is, uh, could you tell me, tell us if uh, many Asian is entertainment company or producer director, mm -hmm. when they come here, feel like easy. But I've been here about three years, and then many companies contact me, want to do something. But really hard, hard working hard here. So like the language is better, different culture is different, manner is different. So the, could you can you can you give it to us a little tip or how can you survive well, in Hollywood? Okay, well, first of all, uh -huh. you have to understand Hollywood before you come here. Exactly. Yeah, best, right. Hollywood is Hollywood is this: the best of the best in the world come to Hollywood to make it. Mm -hmm. and, and and at LAX, there's a revolving door. Mm -hmm. As a hundred come in, a thousand is going out. Exactly. Dreams are made and dreams are broken here. But if I was to give anyone advice on, on when they come here, what to do, the focus would be to stay, to, to have a plan and stay focused to that plan. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to come your way that's going to probably get you sidetracked. Like, hey, let's do this or let's do that. You gotta, sometimes you just got to say no and stay, stay, have like tunnel vision and focus on what it is you came here to do. Because if not, you end up being here three years and trying to do this, that, this, 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 that. And it's kind of like jack of all trades, master of none, to where you're trying to do a bunch of different things and none of them is working. With could, me, you, could you tell me one is why it was Korea Entertainment Company, SM, JYP, they tried really hard, spent a lot of money, million and million, but 
They wrong never approach. met. They never met. That. It's the wrong what, approach. What is main is the wrong approach. Wrong approach. Okay. First of all, in in business, one thing I've learned in business mm -hmm. that you always make money teaming up with someone. Mm -hmm. For instance, when we did our first event. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you from, from anybody, but we teamed up and, mm -hmm. and what I brought to the table and what you brought to the table in Korea, mm -hmm. we ended up having the most successful uh, dance event mm -hmm. in in the Seoul Olympic Stadium. Mm -hmm. Why was that? Because we teamed up. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and right. then of course we set we set the stage for now our sixteens and all these other events that are happening, mm -hmm. but because we teamed up. Mm -hmm. So going back to my motto, mm -hmm. always you always make money mm -hmm. teaming up with someone, that's the focus. So the, these companies that came here from Korea, I feel as though they didn't try to team up with an American company. They just figured that they could just come into America and just do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. You got to have someone that knows the law of the land mm -hmm. and how to manipulate, and not just manipulate, but how to maneuver mm -hmm. in, in the entertainment field in Los Angeles mm -hmm. to then now take take what you're bringing from your country mm -hmm. and team up with that to where now you can catapult to a higher level mm -hmm. of film and tell whatever your whatever part of the entertainment field that you want to do mm -hmm. in, in in America mm -hmm. and that's why I felt that those companies failed because mm -hmm. they didn't really they didn't want to team up they wanted to come in here and, and think that they, what they're doing in Korea they could do here well mm -hmm. it doesn't work it's a different field it's a different it's a different mm -hmm. law of the land it's a different mm -hmm. playing field you see what I'm saying and that's why I think that they fail mm -hmm. now it doesn't mean that you know the way I live life is if you fail you keep you try it again mm -hmm. you don't give up mm -hmm. because if that's what you want to do mm -hmm. that's what you you got to figure out another way to make it work mm -hmm. and that's where I feel as though companies need to to mm -hmm. you know to, to, to focus on trying to make stuff work mm -hmm. so that's kind of where how I look at it mm -hmm. okay so you man is make a shooting film play second is a world dance summit no, no, no. My, my, my folk, my play is my baby. Yeah, play is baby. That's, that's my next film I'm going to do. Uh -huh. um, I also have a film that I'm shooting in Canada, which mm -hmm. is called Forever North. Uh, it's a documentary about Canadian basketball that I mm -hmm. wrote with my business partner, Howard. Um, Howard Kelsey. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that. Um, and then we have uh, a television show for, which is called um, The Next Best Dancer. Mm -hmm which we shot this summer mm -hmm. I'm gonna make that a web series actually mm -hmm. and just try to just test it on the market first mm -hmm. and then I have um, a reality show that I'm shooting mm -hmm. uh, starting at the end of September mm -hmm. which is called follow me which is about all these little young mm -hmm. prodigies of, of, of social media mm -hmm. that are just you know with huge numbers and we're gonna shoot that mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be uh, a streaming situation mm -hmm. so yeah those are the four projects that are on a slate right now mm -hmm. um, what about Jackson Imitation Show? Jackson Imitation Show. Mm -hmm. um, actually, mm -hmm. I, I actually was doing a um, Jackson Imitation Show with Jeff Kutash, who mm -hmm. created. But what he did was he was basically it wasn't really a Jackson Imitation Show. What it was is more a show about how all the people that work with Michael Jackson, uh -huh. even the choreographer Lavelle, mm -hmm. he got all of them together mm -hmm. and all the musicians that that worked on all of his music. He got mm -hmm. them all together. And he wanted to do a show mm -hmm. showing, you know. All the different elements of Michael Jackson's camp and what my, all what, what all of them brought to the table to make it now to be a show for Broadway type setup so that people could really enjoy Michael, but not from like the not like the, the one show, but more so Michael from the people that actually worked with him, that actually went through the day to day with him, and just using those elements of Michael. But I think he, he ran into a problem because the you know Michael Jackson estate don't want okay. anybody doing anything without. The, them being paid, the state being paid, so it's a, it's a tough hill to climb. Okay, well, last. Anyway, really appreciate that. So, could you say a little to Korea entertainment business or Korea artist or producer or young dancer? You know, they want to come here, but you know, so say something to Korea, for or Japanese, for, Chinese. For, for all the for for all the Asian um, talent that want to come to the U.S., we're actually building out a, a, a program to where you guys could come into Hollywood and you guys will meet with producers, you'll meet with directors, you'll meet with, and just learn the business. And not just the business of, how, you know, you can learn film in Korea, you can learn film in China, you can learn mm -hmm. film in Japan, but more so the, in, the, the, the inner workings of, of the relationships we already have here in the U.S. to where you guys can learn that and then take that and apply that to go back to your country so that you could be the next big, you know, 
uh, Kurosawa or, or whoever you know is big in, in that you look up to from your country. Mm -hmm. So that being said, like you know, I would tell all the the Asian mm -hmm. talent mm -hmm. to like just keep doing you, keep learning, learning your craft, staying on top of your craft. And then when you get that opportunity, come to the U.S. and learn it from a different perspective of a Western style, a Westerner type mindset. Mm -hmm. To then now you apply both the you know the Asian mindset to the Western mindset, and that that just puts you knowledge is power. And the more you know, the, the better you're going to be in whatever project you're trying to do. You know, think about it. When you look at China, everybody wants to to get a film in China. China only accepts 32 films from outside yeah, yeah, of the right. country exactly. per year. But China's got the biggest market. Mm -hmm. But now they're getting ready to shut down that 32, you know. So you have to look at it from a perspective of, we all want to put films in China, mm -hmm. but the, the it's not as easy. But then America is where all the, you know, the big boys come from because all the studios are here. Mm -hmm. So it's a give and take. So I tell those, I, I would say to all of your, your viewers and all the, those up and coming Asian artists, mm -hmm. whether you're a film director, producer, whatever you're doing, actor, whatever, mm -hmm. learn to learn it all. Mm -hmm. Don't be a sponge. Learn it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then, that is good. And if you go, and then if you go back to your country, mm -hmm. you be, you know you just that you just it just empowers you more to because the knowledge that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I appreciate this yeah. little talk about this. Could you say goodbye, Korea? Thank uh, you. <laughs> Ciao, Korea. Okay.